Colin Stevens. Bryson Hill. Reagan Twaddle. My elementary crushes were Drew Kozic and the Mulroys. Kylie Smith. Buddy Young. My elementary crush was Quinlan Mulroy. Nate Ross. What's poppin' y'all others? My elementary crush was Landon Butler. Um, I'd probably have to say Eddie Trice. My old neighbor, Jason Markowski. <laughs> Riley Quinn. Landon Butler, until he broke up with me for eating a baby blueberry. Hannah Pulaski. <laughs> um, mine was Josh Coffey. Dwayne Mulroy. The elementary school crush was the homecoming queen, Lily Fenton. Dom Flanagan. <laughs> Shea Obardo. I really liked Emily Shrum in the third grade. My elementary crush was J.D. Robinson. Probably when Delaney Mulroy's running late to class so she takes off her shoes to get extra speed. <laughs> when John Elder told me at volleyball practice that he was from Saturn. Something that, something that really made me laugh out loud was this year at the home hockey game against Thomas Jefferson. There was this one kid and he was a complete jerk to everyone on our team, playing dirty, so me yelling a bunch of stuff at him and whatnot. His grandmother walks up to me. She does the old lady arm swing like, ah, you rotten kid, that's my grandson, etc." It was so amusing. I went and just laughed out loud to myself and my friends, and then I went home and enjoyed the rest of my night. Michael Daigle peanut butter sandwiches. Probably whenever people fell asleep in astronomy, Mr. Brandt would always do something hilarious to him. After my first game here at La Trobe, after I moved here, I watched my uh, really good friend Connor Benio fall as we're running off the field after pregame. Uh, my favorite moment that made me laugh out loud was whenever uh, myself and other High Post staff members gathered photos of Mrs. Stallings and we placed them all around the room and I think she lost her mind.
I'm going to miss all the underclassmen that I became close with. I'll miss the boys. Getting to see our close friends every day. Getting to see the teachers that we formed close friendships with. I'm going to miss all my friends. The thing that I'm going to miss about high school the most is probably all the free time that I had since I can't just mess around as much anymore when I go to college. Uh, the thing I miss the most about high school is probably my friends and just the people I met along the way. I'll miss Cat's Puck. I'm definitely going to miss volleyball season the most, you know, 19 and 2, baby. I'm going to miss most about high school is probably having enough free time to do whatever I want after school. I think just my friends and the people here, you really build a community with the people in the school, so it's going to be very different going somewhere else and not knowing anyone. Playing Rocket League with the boys at lunch. I'm going to miss every single senior because I love talking to all you guys. My favorite high school memory has got to be going to the hockey games and supporting the team and overall just being a menace to society. Our favorite memory is probably playing shortstop and second base together. I have to say probably barrier ball in like eighth grade. My favorite high school memory was beating Armstrong in a shootout last year. Uh, our favorite high school memory is when we got detention for playing Rocket League Sideswipe in the auditorium. Senior year prom. Lunch with all my friends. Senior year field hockey season. When Mr. Brandt started lightsabering fighting in astronomy. <laughs> when my car broke down at the top of the hill and the research officer had to give me a ride to Sheets.
I just wanted to go skydiving. One thing on my bucket list is to study abroad. Skydiving. I want to meet Shaq. Hang out with Mr. Wetzel. I would definitely love to go to Europe. I, uh, one of the things I would like to do is I'd like to make a hole in one. I want a hole in one. Hole in one. <laughs> I would like to go to Santa Fe because it is the second place in every musical that everyone wants to go to, so I would love to go to Santa Fe. I want to see a cherry blossom one day in Japan. Ride in a hot air balloon. <laughs> I'm really inspired to go in a field of asphalt. It's really what I want to do with my life. Travel across Europe. I want to travel the world. We, we want to go to Hawaii. Hawaii.
will be maybe married with a kid and teaching at an elementary school is the goal. Yeah, so, I mean, honestly, dude, I think I'm going to be, uh, you know, a TikTok content creator. Dude, I think that's just the way. Um, we got some people walking through, so I got to cut it here. All right. Yep. I hope I'm married to Ice Spice. Uh, marry a beautiful woman. I'm going to own a Raisin Cane's. See myself being a camera operator for the Baltimore Ravens. See myself living under a bridge in a cardboard box. I'll be DJing clubs every night in New York City. Probably like Switzerland. We're going to marry a set of twins, have twins, and live together. See myself owning an alpaca farm in the Netherlands. Living in my mom's basement and still stocking milk at Walmart. I see myself working for Brady Briar Paven. Cutting grass and doing roofs. I'm going to be on Wall Street. I'll probably be back around here maybe being a coach.